Hi everyone, welcome to Fine Cider Friday. It's Valentine's Day and thanks to Crafty Nectar, I have got Gospel Greens Brute to share with you today. Uh, the original cider with a Y. Um, and it's method traditional, so made in the same way as champagne. So that's um, double fermentation, fermenta secondary fermentation in the bottle and it's been disgorged to create this crystal clear, wonderfully gold liquid. Um, Gospel Green are based in Hampshire, so down in the southeast. So this is made purely with eating apples. So I'm expecting some acidity, some crispness, not a lot of tannin at all, um, and zero sweetness because it's brute. So we'll, which means dry in French. So we'll um, we'll see what we get. So let's do a tasting. So I've already said the colour is gold. It's actually quite light, maybe a little bit straw-like. There's lots of bubbles in there. When I poured it, there was a lot of foam, but that kind of dissipated very quickly. And now we're left with this nice little ring of bubbles, um, which kind of sets it off as a sparkle. So let's have a sniff. So it's really delicate. There's kind of uh, lots of green apple notes going on in there. You know, like, um, I don't know what apples they've used. Um, it is dessert apples, but it's kind of like Granny Smith and a Gold Delicious. You know, those kind of, those green apples, the green apple skin that you expect um, when you bite into those kind of apples, that smell and aroma you get, that's definitely evident on the, on the nose. There's a little florality there. I mean, they say on the back that it's elderflower. I'm not so sure it's elderflower, but it's definitely floral on your nose. Um, maybe with a bit more time I'd get elderflower, but let's have a taste. really really crisp really fresh this was made in 2016 this was pressed so that's four years ago but it's still so crisp so fresh it's intensely appley it's really nice it's like you've just bitten into a crisp green apple it's so it's so sharp and acidic but not not overpoweringly so um wow let me have another sip <laughs> So I think, to me, it's more like a Prosecco or a Cava than a Champagne, because the finish is kind of, um, is finite. It just kind of cleans your palate rather than lingers, which I think you get a little bit more of that with a Champagne. Um, so yeah, absolutely marvellous. Really lovely. A perfect Valentine's celebratory drink. Um, cheers to Gospel Green. Cheers to Crusty Nectar for, um, for sharing it with me. And cheers to the weekend.